and we are back with episode six of BCCC Talks. This is a special episode today. We are here with the regional centers coordinator, Ms. Shante Gibbs Rickard, and we'll get to her in a second. But first, we have a few messages for our announcements coming up. Early registration for spring 2022 starts October 15th. If you're currently a student, please set up a time with your advisor and make sure you have the best plan for your next semester. If you are a new student, visit the admissions office located in Building 9 to get yourself situated. For future educators, are you on the fastest track to complete your education degree? Learn about different programs at BCCC that lead to a career in education on Thursday, October 21st at noon in Building 11, Room 25. And we are back. So I'm here with Miss Shante Gibbs Rickard. How are you doing today, Miss Rickard? Very well. You doing well? So I want to get into what it is that the Regional Centers Coordinator does on an everyday basis. I'm the Regional Centers Coordinator of Washington County and Hyde County. Mm -hmm. And what it is that I do, we bring different classes in um, that can help the Um, individual communities and we just try to promote individuals to better themselves yeah so with promoting you're promoting different classes within the region of Beaufort's Beaufort Community College and things like that yes the classes that Beaufort offered what we do is like for example welding we will be bringing welding into Hyde County with at the school system. And, um, you know, everybody that would like to participate in the class, they are able to. So it's like we're bringing the classes actually to the counties. And bringing the class. And if I'm not mistaken, you haven't, you haven't been doing this for too long, or you've been doing this, but you've got a disposition. Hasn't been too long for you, right? No, I have not been here that long. Are you liking it? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. It's it's always good to have somebody who enjoys what they do and have have a certain passion for it. You know. Yes. Yeah. So you say you do hide in Washington County. Yes. Yeah. We were talking a little bit before the interview started, and you said y'all are doing more things with GED. Yes. And things like that. Elaborate on a few of the things that y'all do for the GED students. Okay, what it is is um, we have a GED teacher for Washington County, and we have one for Hyde County. Um, The one in Washington County right now um, will be days, Mm -hmm. and um, the more people that we get to participate, um, you know, we are looking to even add in a night class. Um, It just depends on, you know, all of our customers um, on what they want and what they need. Hyde County, we're looking at more of the late evening class. That's because, you know, people work during the day, and that's kind of um, the population we're getting and what, you know, we ask, when we ask around what is needed for Hyde County. Mm-hmm. It would be more, more prevalent for that county to have them at night just because you would get the most out of your students. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've been talking around to people you know about the different county centers and some of the obstacles for students you know you know why do you think some of the students that can't get to both are having trouble you know signing up for school whether they're in Terrell County or Hyde County and Washington County things like that it may be a transportation issue but I am here to say that we now have partnership with both of the transits in the areas. Um, so that's River Light in the Washington County area, and it is um, high transit. High and, transit? Yes. Okay. And um, we have partnership with them, and they are willing to go out and get the students um, for us at a very low cost and um, do round trips to get them to and from the classes at the centers. Mm-hmm. To and from. Mm-hmm. So not having a ride is not an excuse. You heard that here from Miss Shante Gibbs Ricker. Do you think, what about the people, because, you know, some of the counties are like small towns and things like that, and people may have family-owned business, so they feel like there's no need for them to go to school because they have the business. How do you feel about them, those type of students, and how would you attract them? Um, I feel that, you know, everybody can use some kind of schooling. You know, if it is a family-owned business, um, for example, if a family have a restaurant, you know, maybe 
they don't know how to advertise. Um, yeah. They could actually use the platform of Facebook to advertise more and do their uh-huh. specials or, um, you know, what's on the buffets, you know, for to limit their calls, you know, to help them out more. And it would probably produce more um, customers for them. What would you say the most signed up for a class is between, like, the centers? What is... What do most people look for? Do they look for like truck driving, GED? Um, they have ESL, which is English as a second language for both. Um, notary. Now, talking about notary, um, what is, what is notary? Because I worked over here in the continuing education department for a while, but I've never really been too sure what notary is. Okay, it's to um, make sure that a document is true like truly oh. yours. You know, when you do title changes, mm-hmm. um, you know, you can go and buy the car and the title changes, you have to sign the back and then there's going to be a notary there to make sure that you are mm-hmm. who you are and that you are signing it. Okay. And they'll get, you know, your driver's license, your ID, a picture ID, and then they notarize it to make sure that, that is you. Oh. They're saying, they're vouching for you that you are who you are. Okay, see... I'm a big hip hop fan. I don't know if you know or not, but Drake has a line where he goes, "Sign, seal, deliver," and I further know the Republic. So, I've heard of it before, and I, I'm pretty. I had a good feeling that it had something to do with business, but I wasn't too sure about it. So you have notary and English as a second language. And the GED. In the GED program. And then personal enrichment. And when I say personal enrichment, I mean like. Um, a Zumba class or um, fitness, dance fitness class or painting or something of that sort. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we have Weldon down in Hyde. Mm-hmm. That's about to start January of the new year. Mm. So bring the new year in with some welding. Okay, so now that we have a few, you know, regional centers questions, I want to learn a little bit more about Shantae. So, Miss Ricker, what is your favorite food? Steak. Steak? Mm-hmm. I was having a conversation earlier. Um, my girlfriend, she didn't know anything about A1 steak sauce. Are you a, fr- are you a fan of it? No, just really? plain good steak. <laughs> oh, what? Steak is good. Steak is good. Um, favorite movie? Um, I would like to say Belly. Belly? I love Belly, and I'm a huge DMX fan. So belly is, belly is, a, is a good movie, too. <laughs> And last, favorite music, music genre? Um, anything regarding Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige? Oh, yep. my goodness. You are hitting me right in the heart, Miss <laughs> Ricky. Mary J. Blige, big belly fan, and a steak with no A1 steak sauce. That is Miss Shante Gibbs Ricky. I have had a great time interviewing you today, Miss Ricky. Hopefully, within time past, you come back for another one and another one and another one. Because you are truly a good guest, if you ask me. Yes, ma'am. Did you have fun today? Yes. All right. Well, hopefully we see you again, Miss Rickard. And this is Charlie Moore, your host, and I'm out. And that was episode six of BCCC Talks. I want to thank Miss Gibbs Rickard for coming in and giving me a good quality interview. I'm your host, Charlie Moore, and thank y'all for listening. I'm out.